Yeah. Hold my hand. Welcome, Welcome to stupid, stupid movies. movies. Wow, that was. <laughs> that was <laughs> Let's not do that again. No, let's not do that. Yeah, you! So fucking stupid! Hey! 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 Welcome to Stupid Movies, episode 144, where we watch them so you don't have to. But this week, we didn't watch anything. <laughs> Fuck you. You don't get a movie. <laughs> the end. <laughs> Figure we do a little New Year's wrap up. Yeah. 2018. Yeah, now that it's technically 2019 when they're seeing this. Yeah, we didn't plan that too too awfully we, well. We don't do planning. But to end last year. Yeah. And to start this year. Happy we figured New Year, we, motherfuckers. Yeah, yeah. It's 2019. Hey, stupid friends. So we figured we would uh, share what our top five of 2018 yeah. were. Uh, kind of what almost made it in. Uh, the least favorite and the shoddiest movies. Yeah, because there were some shitty movies. You know, we were talking when we got coffee. 2018 was a phenomenal year for horror. It was. There were Indie, so big many movies that came mm -hmm. out this year. Yeah, and there's a lot I'm sure we're not even thinking of. Oh, yeah. Off the top of our skull. Uh, why don't we start with our, our top five for 2018? Man, that's tough. Yeah, well. That was tough. We fucking... <laughs> I don't know about you, I agonized over this list because I was like, does this movie deserve it more than this one? Yeah. And there's still like, <coughs> so right now it's not quite the new year yet, but to you it is. Um, what is today? The 29th? 29th. Yeah. Yeah. So there's still a couple that I, I want to try to watch yeah, before. Me so too. that could alter my top five. So <laughs> yeah. who knows? And, and that was one restriction we made. It had to be a movie we watched. So yeah. if a movie you really love wasn't on here, it probably just means we didn't watch it. Or it sucked and you have bad taste. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. So, as of the, uh, uh, as of the right, this, um, December 29th at 7.43 a.m. Yes. <laughs> as it stands right now, this is what our, yep. our list is. Could change in the next few days. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and there's no particular order. Mm -hmm. So, this is just, uh, uh, for me, yeah. summer of 84. Oh, my God. I love this movie so much. It was on my top five list too. Yeah, it's it was. I, I thought. Um, uh, yeah. <laughs> this will not change in the new year. No. I will still be a broken robot. Robot. <laughs> robot. <laughs> um, Summer Ray Four seems to be on a lot of your guys' lists as well. It, uh, it's great. And '84, we were two. <laughs> so Dude, just little diaper buddies. We weren't watching a lot of horror. At the time. Right, right. As much horror, at least. The horror was watching my mom fiddle my ball sack and clean shard off of it. That was really obscene. <laughs> wow. Well, I mean, right? It's... Ah. <laughs> Summer of 84. <laughs> <laughs> Great movie. Don't fiddle ball sacks. Don't fiddle ball sacks, yep. The first one on my top five list was uh, Wildling. Really good movie. Um, had uh, Brad Dorff, Liv Tyler. Yep. Um, there was a kind of werewolfy vibe to it. I was surprised that you didn't have this on your list. Yeah, but you hadn't seen it. Well, I can't remember. And uh, next one is <coughs> one that seems to be on most people's list: Terrifier. Terrifier. To me, that movie was is that's what I like in horror. It's not a no back, you know, not much backstory to the point. It's fast paced, yep. a lot of blood and gore. It can be creepy at times. Sure, it's not in depth the movie, but it it was fun. Very fun. I really liked it. Uh, it. This was just that close to being on my top five. Yeah. And there were a couple movies I just liked a little bit more. But yeah. man, it was good. So gory. Very good. Oh my God, man. the gore on this was great. And it looked good. And, and Art the Clown was fantastic. Art the Clown, yeah. I'm definitely excited to see what else they do with it. If it, yeah. if it continues on. And Are they planning on doing more with this? Or? I would assume so. I haven't heard anything. This could be a series. I yeah. could see this being a you know another Child's Play or another yeah. Yo, yeah, yeah, Nightmare sure. on Elm Street's Cell series. Yeah, yeah. So definitely check that one out. If you have not, if you haven't, <laughs> yeah. what the heck? Yeah. Um, second one on my list is uh, Puppet Master Littlest Reich. I fucking love this movie. We did this one on the show. Yeah, uh, and, and it was it was fantastic. I went into it thinking this is going to be the stupidest thing I've seen all year. <laughs> Very low expectations. Now, as of... 746 <laughs> on December 29th. I just finished watching all of the Puppet Master you movies. Finally got I did a all? marathon through all of them. And I will go on record as saying this is the only one I like. Yeah, no, the, the new one just, ah, man, just recently got pushed out of my top five. Yeah. Which I will tell you the one when we get to it. But it's right, it's 
probably number six. I loved it. It was it was fun. It was kind of its own story. It's kind of a revive of it. Nothing to do with the other movies at all. The puppets are bad guys, not good guys. Right. Uh, through the whole movie, Toulon is a Nazi instead of a Jew. Yep. Throughout the whole movie. Yeah. Um, so it was it was radically different from the other movies, but. It was so, so fucking yeah. good. Executed great. Watch our review on that. Great gore. Oh, here it is. Episode 130. Go check it out. Go watch 130. We both gave... Well, I gave it 8 out of 8, and Adam gave it 9 out of 8. Yeah. So I fun. really, really love this movie. It was it was a lot of fun. Yeah. Episode 130. Go watch that one. Um, so what's next on your list? Next is Hellfest. Um, that one was in the theaters. I don't believe you've seen that. I have not yet. That's why it's not on my list. But, man. Uh, it seems like there's a lot of mixed reviews, which I, I don't... I don't know why. I mean, sure, People I get are it. assholes. Yeah, you know, and, and it's not great in some respects, of course. I mean, what horror movie really is, when you think about it? Not very many. Puppet Master. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but hey, it's a fun atmosphere. It takes place at an amusement park, horror themed. Yeah. And it's just fun. It's, yeah. I want to see it. it it's it is, on my to watch list. It is and a good time. I hope to see it before the end of the year if I have time. Definitely check it out. I know it hits Blu-ray here uh, in the next couple weeks. Oh, so um, I won't be seeing it before the end of the year. So, <laughs> <laughs> so definitely check that out. It's a lot of fun. Uh, <coughs> you know, if you don't like it, then <clears throat> on you. Yep. Uh, next one on my list, and and I know this was really close on yours, was Halloween. Yeah. I, fuck, man. Uh, Halloween is another series that I don't really like. A- and I've said that before. It, it just... It's okay, and I appreciate it for what it is. It's just it's not my thing. Yeah. This movie, I really liked it a lot. We went and saw it in the theater. We did, and we did an episode on that yeah. one, too. Yeah. yeah. 134, go watch that 134, go watch that they one, They had too. your kids in it. Yeah, Didn't my it? kids opened up yeah. that one. They went and saw. So, yeah, and Halloween, just it's in my top ten, probably. Yeah. Um, maybe. I don't know. I still have more i got to watch, so that could be addressed, too. I did like it, you know. Um, yeah. Yeah. But these other ones in my top five, I enjoyed more. No, that's understandable. Hey, hey, you know, but... So what else you got in your top five? It's a good movie. Um, Bloodfest. Mm. <laughs> Two Fest movies. Yeah. I enjoyed Bloodfest a lot. It was kind of more of an indie, uh, you know, not a theatrical release. Not around here, anyway. And it was wow. kind of the same thing as Hellfest. The, the, the kids go to an amusement park, and the, mm, bad things happen. That's been a big theme here, the, this Fest past movies. year or so. Yeah, yeah where, which I don't know why. Where they're at, like, an amusement uh, park. Excuse me. Or an extreme haunt. Yeah, a um, lot of them based around that. That, like, go wrong. Um, I haven't seen Bloodfest yet. Oh, man. Sorry. That's a fun movie. Very fun movie. Uh, It's funny. It's fun. It's got great gore. It's fast-paced. It's what I like. There's a theme here for me, which you guys should know Yeah. at this point. Absolutely. So definitely check that one out. Check that one out. Yeah, it's on my list. (laughs) Go watch the fest I plan to. I plan to. So the last one on my list, since we both had Summer of 84. Oh, yeah. Um, last one on my list. This one's gonna blow everyone fucking away. Won't you be my neighbor? I am your neighbor. It, it's you are. Oh, oh, and then he punches me in my skills. Sorry. <laughs> did you shave your head again? Yeah. No, this is good. Yeah. Thank you. It's bothering me. Yeah, I, I did too. But I, I like do that Bert. every couple of weeks. Hey Bert. Hey Bert. Hey, Bert. Yes, sir. <laughs> That's Ernie. That says that. Bert. Yeah. I guess I'd be the Ernie to your Bert. You'd be the Ernie to my Bert. That's uh-huh. weird. <laughs> So, Won't You Be My Neighbor, speaking of Sesame Street, uh, is the Mr. Rogers documentary. Um, you didn't see this. I have not seen it. I fucking, I love this movie. I cried like a little kid. Uh, it was touching. It was moving. Uh, it was obvious that they were manipulating your emotions with, you know, they'd show things and they'd talk about certain things in a certain way where it was really obvious they were manipulating you and I didn't even care. It was such a good movie. I felt great afterwards. And I remember when I finished it, I was like, I need to be a better person. Oh, and that's, fuck, man, that says a lot for a movie to touch my dark little heart. Right. So, not a horror movie. I still recommend it. You need that's to watch right. it. Yeah, I'm going to check that out. Yeah. My last on top five, the one that kind of pushed Puppet Master, Pupper, Pupper. Pupper. <laughs> Puppet Master out, is one I recently watched called Boar. Mm. Um, man, this movie was fun as heck. Was it Creature really? Free, it really was. Giant pig killing people. See, was, I, haven't, I haven't seen it yet, but... Man, no, it, I know you, when when we talked about it originally, you are like, I don't know, man, this sounds pretty <laughs> stupid. But hey, no, it was, this This was one of those that, <coughs> sure, I mean, you read it, it's like, it's, it reminded me of Razorback. Right. From the 80s, whenever that was, which was a great movie. Um, but it's just, 
It's fun. It has Bill Mosley in it. John Jarrett. 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 Jar, 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 Jarrett, Jar, however you say his name. Him. <clears throat> yeah, that guy. Um, yeah, this is, I, I, it takes place in Australia, and there's people there, and a boar. And there's people there. Giant boar just killed. I mean, the body count's big. It's gory. It's funny. It's. they will have to watch it. It's fun. It was just fun. It's one of those, yeah. shut your mind off. And, get, and I love creature features. I'm right up there with slashers for me. So, yeah. I would say check it out. Definitely check it out. I'll have to watch that, too. Definitely. That's pretty cool. You had three movies that I haven't seen. I had two that you haven't yeah. seen. Yeah, hey, see? 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 We don't always watch the same movies. That's true. <laughs> so, so, what was in your almost in the top five list? So, yeah, here's some that almost that could possibly be my top ten. The next yeah, five. Yeah, like just rapid fire. Just rapid fire. Yeah. Puppet Master, a little strike. Await further instructions. That was really. That was a cool movie. I haven't seen it yet. There's a reason it's not on. Kind of more of a Christmas thing yeah. movie, but that was a fun, unique, original movie. Yeah. Um, you skipped a whole lot there. Yes, I did. Halloween, yeah. of course. You know, uh, was a good movie. Um, the Domestics. I just recently watched, and that was a post-apocalyptic kind of, not zombies, but just a. Uh, it was a fun movie. Cool. Um, and then Leprechaun Returns. I haven't seen yet, but you were telling me how good it was. Man, you know, I kind of watched it on whim, zero expectations. I don't remember any of the other Leprechauns, uh, and this one actually is a direct sequel to the original comic with Halloween. Oh, okay. So uh, that was it. Was it was fun? Uh, a couple that almost made my top five: Terrifier, obviously, and, and that was really really close. And and the Mister Rogers movie kicked it off. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Mr. Rogers versus Art the Clown. Yeah, dude, Art the Clown would be like, <coughs> I'm sorry. Mr. <laughs> You'd be like, oh, and Mr. Rogers would be like, what? Well, sure is a nice knife you have there. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I want to see that movie. I'll pay for that movie. I will pay for you to make Mr. Rogers versus Art the Clown. That's great. That is great. Um, one that was really close was Ready Player One. I like the I book, I like the movie. I haven't seen that yet. Um, you'd like it, dude. It's an 80s throwback. Bus Party to Hell. <laughs> I fucking, I love this movie so much. We're going to talk about it later, so I'm not going to talk about it now. Just know it almost made my top five. And then Winchester. So I haven't seen that. You're telling me about that. Yeah. It was, uh, it was a haunted, uh, haunted house sort of movie at the Winchester Manor, which if you don't know, you go look that up. We're not going to tell you about it. Yeah. Um, but it was really cool. I liked it a lot. Sweet. So, those were our best movies. What were the worst? What were the movies that we thought were the most overrated this year? <laughs> okay. So, I think um, um, I, I, you and I have this both first on our list. Hereditary. And Hereditary. Oh. oh. That movie. Uh, okay. Fuck you. It, it's on. Uh, everybody seems to love this movie. It's like on everybody's Except top us. five or ten. And, I, and there's some other people I know. That, I just did not like it, man. It was it was slow. It was boring. I didn't like the story. I mean, I, it, it was well done. It was well made, well acted. Don't get me wrong, all that, but just uh, everything that went into it was good. It just wasn't good. Oh, another one that was pretty overrated and, and disappointed me was Annihilation. Fuck you. And I, you know, a lot of people seem to like that too. And the whole idea, the story of it, I like. I was I was excited to see it. You know, because I was like, oh, it's got monster, but. That was a very small part of that movie. And it was long. I remember. I got this for you. <clears throat> yeah. And I watched it first. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, and when I gave it to you, I was like, you're going to hate this movie. It fucking sucked. And you were like, no, no, everyone says it's so good. Everyone says it's so good. And I was and like, I, I want to like, see yeah, it. I no, want to see it. Was, it was bad. Yeah, it was, I'm it, glad that you didn't like it. No. Mm, boring. Uh, Another uh, one for me that I thought was really overrated. Now, I think you liked this one was Feral. Yeah, I did like that. It was like zombie-esque things. Yeah, I don't know. It just it never captured me. Yeah, I, I mean, it wasn't great, but I, I enjoyed it. Yeah. I mean, I, of course, I watched it with Andrew, my son. Maybe that maybe that made that a could make a difference. But no, I, I thought it was okay. Yeah. Scott T uh, Taylor Compton and uh, <laughs> the girl from Butcher's Block Channel Zero with uh, excuse me the teeth that are separated out. Like you... I can't remember Olivia Lucardi who it is. Oh yeah, yeah, they, good they, job. They played lesbians. Well, I, yeah, you know, that's true. No, but yeah, I can. I see, love I can, lesbians. <laughs> I can see why. You yeah, know, you wouldn't like them, but they, you know my taste really well. Yeah, and yeah. I love lesbians, but this wasn't it for me. Watch that one at your own risk. Yeah. So. What, what else you got? Um, you know, okay, this one I I liked it, but it was pretty disappointing. Was the Meg? 
I mean, it was, I, I enjoyed it for the most part, but there was a lot of things. It, it wasn't nearly as cool as I thought it would be. Shallows, yeah. yeah, how, yeah. Does it, how does it make compared to Shallows? Oh, Shallows is much better. Was it? Oh, yeah. Okay. So this is going to piss off our, our few 10-year-old girl viewers. <laughs> Slender Man. <laughs> Shite. We're, we're very popular in that demographic. <laughs> oh, that's that's weird. Uh, yeah, no, uh, Slender Man. I I haven't seen it, and I have no desire to see it. I don't know because I get into the whole internet thing. I really like scary, po uh, creepy pasta stories. Sure, if that's what yeah. Channel Zero is based. Yeah, on. I, I really dig those stories, man. I hang out on SCP all the time. Which, if you haven't checked out, you really need to. The SCP Foundation. No. Oh, dude, you got to check it out. I love that sort of like really short, bite-sized, scary stories. Oh, sure, yeah, for sure. Um, and, and so I was excited for this. I've played some Slender Man games, and some of them were good. Some of them were shit. I thought, well, maybe the movie's going to be good. The movie, it was, it was way overrated. Yeah, I've heard that story. If, if, if you're a nine-year-old, you know, ten-year-old girl, this is probably super scary. But it scared gosh. my kids, not the movie, but just the whole thing. The story, you know? like, yeah. How was that even remotely yeah. scary? Yeah. I don't know. So, that mm, was dull. Mm, <laughs> what else you got? <clears throat> and the last one that I could think of off the top of my head, which was very unfortunate because I was super stoked for this, was Death House. And it seems like it's pretty, uh, pretty across the board for everybody that this movie just was way overrated. Well, it just was bad. I mean, it just wasn't uh, good. I mean, I was sad when you told me how bad it was, and I still watch it myself. And yeah, it was, it was. Yeah, bad. it just you know the whole idea of it being. I think they amped it up too much. Yeah. You know, being the Expendables of horror. You know, because it does have a lot of great people: Kane Hodder, D. Wallace, um, Barbara Crampton. Yeah. You know, a bunch of those. Tony Todd. And it's just, most of them were in it just a short time. Mm -hmm. I don't know, it's like it never really got finished or something, but bummer, and I hate saying that because I'm yeah. so excited for it. Well, I've got two left. Um, one of two, them, two, I think... Two that are on a, almost everybody's yeah. top ten list. This yeah. is great. And, and one <laughs> of them, yeah. well, fuck three if you count Hereditary. That's and true. a lot of mine that I hated, people loved. Um, one that, to me, I think was super overhyped and overrated was Incident in a Ghost Land. And I think you enjoyed this more than I did. I, I mean, I okay. I, I saw the twist yeah. coming. Oh, I did too. It was I, so fucking telegraphed. And once I saw it, I was like, okay, so none of this matters because yeah. none of this is real. Right. Uh, so. And, yeah. and this last one, this takes my top spot for, I hated this movie. I actively hated this movie. While I was watching it, I fell asleep. I woke up four hours later and it was still going. <laughs> That's awesome. I hated this movie so Fucking much, Mandy. With Why that, do you all love this movie so much? The thing for me with that is the first like forty-five minutes to an hour, it's just slow, yeah, and boring. Yeah. Now the last act was kind of cool, but it took forever to get there. No, <laughs> no, it wasn't. Uh, it wasn't. It, this reminded me of Wicker Man, which oh, yeah. is another Nick Cage movie I fucking hate. Yeah. <laughs> So, so hey, <laughs> support indie horror. Support it and continue to support it. Yep. And now on the looking forward, or uh, um, mm -hmm. uh huh. Okay. Well, uh, so uh, spotlight. Right. Spotlight. Let's, uh, let's try all that again because we just both broke. <laughs> so one thing that we're super into, and, and you hear us say it all the time, support indie horror. Yes. Um, so there were some movies that came out this year that didn't get a lot of attention. Or that we didn't see a lot of attention on. And we kind of want to shine the spotlight on them and say, yeah. here are some great movies you need to watch. Yeah, just a quick list for you to check out. Yeah. All right. So you didn't really have any. I, well, I got You've got a couple. Here. Yep. Okay. Um, so what do you got? Primal Rage. Oh. Fuck yes. Bigfoot movie. Very fun. This was a great movie. Yes. On an indie budget, too. Right. It looked great. Bone Hill Road. Yeah. Yes. It's a newer a werewolf flick from Todd Sheets. Yep. Uh, very indie, but man, it's a... Uh, check it out. It was a fun movie. One of the better werewolves I've seen. This one, not so, maybe not so much in any movie, but uh, Revenge. Check that movie out. You know that what? was a fun movie. That was... That was on my list, too. <laughs> yeah, that is a great movie. And then uh, my man Ben Deedles, he did a movie called Slaughter Drive. Which just recently hit Amazon on DVD. You can buy the Blu-ray at SRS Cinema. Yeah. But check that out. I absolutely love that movie. I think we need to do it on the show. So you I can think see we do too. Bus Party to Hell. That is a weird ass movie, but it's oh, fun. Okay, so the, I tried to figure out how to explain this movie. And it's Satanists Attack Burning Man. 
That's mm -hmm. all you need to know. Yep. Go watch it. This one I, I totally didn't write down, which I'm glad he did. Not a horror movie, but phenomenal movie. Bomb City. Mm. Uh, about Brian Dennecke it took place in Texas. He was a punk rocker, and it's about the story about how the punks and the jocks didn't get along, and uh, basically one of the jocks ended up killing Brian yeah. Dennecke and got away with it. Um, one you haven't seen, Down a Dark Hall. Um, this was a lighter horror movie. Like it's not like oh, or like super horror or anything. <laughs> There's not any gore to it. Um, Uma Thurman, and I can't remember the little girl who was in it. She was in Bridge to Terabithia. I want to say. Um, yeah. Was it Anna Sophia Robb? Yes. That. Her. <laughs> um, so basically it's these kids at, um, kids, they're like teenagers and maybe uh, probably even a little older, um, at uh, an all-girls boarding school and it's very private. There's only like seven students there. Wow. Uh, yeah. Very, very exclusive. Very private. And the teachers are summoning ghosts of artists and sticking them into the children so that the children... That sounded weird. So that the children are producing new artworks <laughs> under this artist. Beep. And then they're selling it and making money. Right. It was such a... No, no, no. <laughs> There's children involved. No. Uh, it was such a cool premise. Yeah, uh, Ruin Me. Yeah. That, that was um, basically um, like an extreme... These people go to extreme hunt kind of thing out in the woods. Uh and uh, it, but, yeah, and it being basically a slasher camp kind of. Yeah. But uh, you know that one was I went in thinking, eh, it's probably not going to be good, but very fun movie. So tell me if this sounds familiar. Extremity. It was an extreme haunt, yep. like the one we just talked about. Um, but she was using it to deal with some past trauma and mental issues. Right. It wasn't great, no, but, but it was good, it was and the, the ending was really cool. I like that. Uh, Extremity, uh, just to note, oh, yeah. is part of Dread Central's Presents. Yes. And you can buy it off Epic Pictures along with this next one. Yes. And the very last one, and we've already talked about this once or twice, and I'm going to talk about it again because I fucking love this movie, Sleigh Bells. Sleigh Bells. Yep. Spooky Dan's first movie. Yep. Um, this movie was fucking great. Yeah. It's, uh, I was trying to figure out how to describe it to people who've never seen it. It's Santa versus Krampus versus the Suicide Girls. Yeah, pretty much. And that's all you need to know. If that doesn't have you with half a heart on already, you're dead. <laughs> right? Yeah, it was a very fun movie, man. I and I, I believe we talked about it in last week's episode. Mm -hmm. um, definitely, uh, Christmas is over now, but hey. Either pick it up and still watch it, or watch it for next season. You, you can pick it up and watch it at any time. Middle yeah. of summer, you can watch this movie. Christmas in July. Yeah. You know? Yeah, definitely. So, and, and then a few that I'm looking forward to watching here soon. Are Monster Party, You Might Be the Killer, and Shh. Yeah. Those are three that I'm going to watch. Uh, they're, yeah. Before the end of the year. Before the end of the year. So one of those three could knock what, one of your other top five off. One or all of them? Who knows? <laughs> you just, you don't know. Well, there's so. only three, so it couldn't knock all five of them. Well, right. true. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what are we looking forward to for next year? Oh shit, I totally forgot about that. Yeah. Yes, um, it's okay, buddy. Yeah, so there's a slew of movies that are coming out, and, and some that we probably don't aren't even. 2019 aware of. looks 20... like it's going to be as good a year for horror as 2018 was, yeah. if not even better. Yep. So uh, the Pet Cemetery remake. Oh, I'm definitely intrigued oh, yes. by that. Definitely intrigued by that. How can you not be? Yeah. Um, Happy Death Day to you. Yes. Uh, I enjoyed the first one. I definitely, did too. definitely curious about yep. that. Um, it Chapter 2, of course. You son of a bitch. You're taking all of my movies. <laughs> Everything on your list is on my list. <laughs> um, I mean, that that's going to be uh, a lot of fun, I yeah. think. I'm looking forward to seeing how that works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Are You Afraid of the Dark? Oh! Which, I, you know... I love this series, and I'm so looking forward to this movie. I mean, that was huge when we were kids in yeah. the 90s, you know, so... That's what kind of got me into horror. Right. That... And Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark, mm. which they are releasing in movie form. Yes, which I'm stoked about. Um, those are kind of the two things that got me into horror. Yeah, those, man, those books were horrifying. Yeah. Like, I know a lot of people say Goosebumps got them into horror, and that's yeah. cool, too. Oh, yeah. I love Goosebumps. I, I love the Goosebumps, but I was much older when I read those. So Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark, I was yeah. probably four or five Ooh, when man. I started reading those. That's nightmare fuel. And man. that was the old artwork, that Alvin Schwartz artwork that yeah. was all like, oh. That's what did it, was the artwork. Oh, my God. So hopefully in that. Then, I want to go read them right now. I know. So I hopefully uh, they'll <laughs> execute that. To really, you know, don't please, please yeah. don't screw this up. The, the only thing that concerns me is Guillermo del Toro is involved with it, which is fine. But I'm not. I'm definitely not a huge fan of him. Yeah. But we'll see. We'll see. 
Um, he does creatures really well, though. That's true. Yes, he does. And um, Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark would be a good creature movie. Oh, yeah. Could be horrifying. Yeah. So, fingers crossed. I'm definitely stoked for that. Um, Zombieland 2. Yes! Um, man, super excited for that. That's finally happening. Hell yeah! So, and it's got all the main cast Did back. you watch the TV series? Did it ever actually come out? Yeah, like three oh. episodes. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, I was just saying, I don't think I ever it really... wasn't that good. I don't think so. Um... <laughs> Three from Hell. Um, this one, I, I mean, I'm I'm excited to watch it, but I'm I'm not super excited. Uh, I'm trying to figure out which ones of mine you've already <laughs> said. Okay, I have to rewatch um, House of a Thousand Corpses and Devil Rejects before yeah. that. But you know, I'm definitely curious about it. Um, Could be good. Child's Play remake. That's one I I want to see what they're going to do more than anything. Yeah, I, I think. How do you have a Chucky movie without Brad Dorf? Yeah, that it's more of just I'm curious about how it's going to play out more than anything. Maybe maybe it'll end up being great. Who knows? Try to go into it with an open mind, I guess. Right. But. And then um, Bone Jangles too. Yeah. Uh, I love the first Bone Jangles, and that's in any movie. Um, how it was on this list is I don't know, but hey, it's a fun slasher movie. Yeah. With super. First one was movies. really fun. I liked it. Yeah, I love yeah. the first one. Yeah. All right, so I have a couple movies. Besides the ones that Jackass stole. <laughs> no, I mean, obviously our lists are going to be very, very similar. Yeah. So everything he said uh, is on my list, too. With the exception of the Child's Play remake, because uh, I'm terrified Like I said, more curious about yep. it. Um, so I've got a couple other ones, though. Bone Tomahawk 2 is supposed mm. to come out this year. I really I liked that. the first Bone Tomahawk. It was so cool, and it kind of came out of nowhere for me. Yeah, yeah, so that's true. I, I can't wait to see what a sequel is going to be like. Um, Rabbit. Oh, the Sasuke sisters. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Sasuke sisters are remaking a David Cronenberg film. And, oh my God, I love both of those people. I can't wait to see this. Okay, this next one I have, I don't have insider information. I want to say that up front. But I'm looking forward to either Victor Crowley 2 or Hatchet 5. The reason I say that, Adam Green's been saying he's working on some super secret project. He can't talk about it. He doesn't want to release any information. Last time what was <laughs> Last time it was Victor Crowley, right. which was Hatchet 4. And uh, on one of them, on the 24-hour marathon that they just did now a few weeks ago, um, they were even joking around about um, Spooky Dan was going to do Hatchet 6, I think it was. Oh, yeah. And they started to say, well, you'd have to do Hatchet 5 first. And then he kind of, like, diverted attention away. Again, no inside information. I could be way off. But, man, I cannot wait. I would love to see either Victor Crowley 2 or Hatchet 5. Love that series. Oh, my God. Love it. I love every frame of those movies. I love everything Adam Green does. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. He's he's really good. Yeah. He gets us. He's a super cool dude. We met him last yeah. year. Support indie horror. Support indie horror, baby. Because when it comes down to it, there's a guy who's doing it. He works... 23 hour days like he sleeps yeah. at his office he poops once a the month guy, the guy is hardcore yeah um, there's a guy short. huh he's short he is kind of short especially compared to us yeah well we're tall <laughs> right right yeah he's like what 5'9 five, 5'10 five, he's something like that we'll yeah. have to see if we can find that picture because he was like down here right. and we were just like this dude is a scary dude <laughs> <laughs> no he was super nice yeah. and I I you need to go buy every single one of his movies. Just Definitely. every single one of them. And um, Holliston, his TV series. Oh, man. Great, because, great show. Or sitcom. Which, Comedy. that's on my 2019 list, too, is Holliston Season 3. Yeah, fingers crossed. Because they've been working on it. Yeah, um, for quite a while. For quite a while. So hopefully, and it's going to be weird because Odorous is dead. Right. Um, but, mm. I, I can't wait if to see If you haven't watched that, definitely Oh, watch my God, Wilson. yes. Especially Phenomenal. if you're a huge horror movie fan, and you know you a lot of the, the names, jokes. the jokes are so funny. Right. Plus, Joe Lynch Horse and Adam Green are just... Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just such a great show. Yeah. Joe Lynch, Adam Green, Corey English, Laura yeah. Tees, they're all just lovable people. And, and you can tell, and if you I listen to their podcast, so I know a little movie bit crypt. more on yep. it. Movie Crypt, yeah. Um, but they are genuinely friends. And this last one, I'm, I'm going to get shit for this. And, and I don't even care. <laughs> Let it go. I have a three-year-old daughter. <laughs> Frozen 2 is coming out next year, and I'm looking forward to seeing it. For this reason and this reason only. I've seen the first Frozen probably a hundred times over the past year. <laughs> I would like to have something else in the mix. <laughs> so, that is, uh, that's kind of our wrap-up. Yeah. So... Thanks for watching uh, yeah. our, our triumphant return. Woot! In August, and we will keep going into 2019. Yeah, you fuck you, 2018. 
Hello 2019. Here we are. Get ready to bend over and take it. <laughs> it's gonna get stupid in here. Mm. So, you can find us over on Facebook.com slash Stupid Movies. Instagram at Stupid Movies. At The Horror Punk. At Dr. Sketch Turner. Mm -hmm. So, go check out all these movies we enjoyed. Uh, check out the ones that we didn't enjoy if you want. We have to stop now. I'm out of coffee. Uh Let us know what your top five, top ten are if you want. Yeah. Give us a shout. Yeah, hit, hit us up on Facebook and let us know what your top five movies are. Or there. Instagram. Yeah. Uh, send me a message. Or us a message. Yeah, don't do that because I'll never see it. Well, do I mean, it on Facebook. Stupid, stupid movies yeah. or my page. Or you can do it down in the comment section, which is down below us. Yeah. I'm pointing at my Ooh. penis. We're pointing at our 2019 wieners. Yeah. Uh, they're the same size. No. Might, might even be a little smaller. <laughs> they keep shrinking with age. Yeah. So, we'll see you. Uh, in the new year, my friends. They're already in the new year. We will see you next week, my friends. <laughs> <laughs> or we will get back on track with a movie. Ooh. Mm. Any idea what we're going to watch? I have some ideas.